Electric shock is a danger water utility workers face during the installation and service repair of water pipes and meters. Water pipes are often used to ground electricity in homes. If there's a fault in the electric system, the pipe and distribution component can be energized with electricity. A severe or even fatal shock can occur if enough electricity is present in the pipe or meter. According to an AWWA study, more than 350 significant distribution system electric shock incidents occur annually to water utility workers. A much larger number of minor shock incidents occur each year, many going unreported. This video looks at the electrical grounding issues that affect water distribution systems and what workers need to do to work safely on them. Let's begin by looking at how electricity works, so we'll have a better understanding of when and where a potential danger is most likely to exist. Electricity always wants to return to its source to complete a continuous circuit. A typical circuit has two conductors, one that flows from a service panel to an appliance and one that returns the current to the panel. A neutral wire and ground wire are both connected to electrical ground. The neutral wire completes the electric circuit by conducting current away from the plugged-in electrical device. The ground wire is a safety device that carries electric current away from a device when the circuit or plugged-in device malfunctions. Grounding wires are connected to all outlets and metal boxes and then down to the earth by attaching it to either a metallic rod that travels deep into the ground or a water pipe. Poor insulation or a faulty neutral may allow the current to pass through the ground. The shock to utility workers occurs when they install or remove a water meter or cut through metallic pipes connected to the faulty ground. Here is how electricity grounds through humans. Electricity travels to the earth always looking for an easy path to ground. Electricity passes very quickly through our bodies when we come in contact with it. The voltage and current of the circuit and internal body resistance will determine the severity of electrical contact. In some cases, electricity uses multiple paths to ground. The operator may get shocked when first touching a pipe or service meter. An operator may also get shocked when reinstalling a meter or service line because the operator completes the ground circuit. OSHA designates a shock hazard if the potential is more than 42.4 volts peak and the current through a 1500 ohm load is more than 5 milliamperes. One milliamp of electricity creates a tingling sensation. Nine milliamps will cause muscles to contract, making it difficult to let go. 17 milliamps and above can cause extreme pain, respiratory arrest, and severe muscular contractions, and in some cases, death. 100 or more milliamps are capable of stopping the heart, inhibiting breathing, and blocking the nerve center to the brain. Electrical injury can cause arrhythmia that can be fatal hours after contact.